I have three children, age 9, 14, and uh, 17. First, uh, I'll tell you about my daughter first. Uh, she's nine now. And uh, well, she told me that she can't really see in the classroom. She can't, uh, she has to sit close up because she can't see. And I think also her teacher told me that you might want to check her eyes. So we took her to an uh, optometrist and uh, yes, she said uh, she needs glasses. But it was some rule that she needed to go to the eye doctor first uh, because she was under 10. Obviously, I, I live in Denmark and you need to drop the eye with some relaxing I was like, oh, I don't really want that. So I think I think I'll wait till she turns 10 before I do anything. And then at that time I found you. So we started applying. I of course she's reading, she's using her iPad too much. So I gave her some reading glasses and then I told her about uh, how to uh, to to not read because she used to read too close. So I told her don't you have to keep it the the distance. So that is the first thing. And and now she tells me it's no problem. She can she can see the board and she can sit in, behind in a class. It's it's no problem anymore. So I'm very relieved. So I will not take her to to the doctor anymore. We will just keep doing this. So, so we don't really know what they would have sold her or prescribed her for starting doctors. But either way, no. we went from they said she needed glasses and she had some challenge seeing to now she's fine. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's perfect. You can see in, in the classroom, that's that's the most important thing. So I will just keep watching her and, and see if uh, if it gets worse. Then now I know what to do. I know how to help her. Yeah, so. a, a diopter and a quarter improvement. Initially, as I always say, there's some beginner improvement that's possible. I like to make that disclaimer so people don't get, I don't want to say overly excited, but there's definitely some margin in the beginning where you get rid of some eye strain and overcorrection. But it's still a really good start. And it's enough to where I would say you have all the experience you could possibly need to, to help the kids, obviously. And the middle one, he, he sees well, I have an eye chart in our living room. Now there's a line all the way at the bottom. You're not supposed to see that, but he can also see that from, from far distance. So he can see everything very clearly. And, and he also practices basketball. So he's used to, he's seeing a far distance all the time. <laughs> he's playing a lot. So, and then there's the oldest one. He is 17 now, he's moved several times. Um, and then was the Corona. Everything was locked down and they had to stay inside all the time. So he was, he was just in his room looking closely. So the 17 year old, did he ever get glasses or, or not? Yes, he did. he did. So he got glasses. I think the prescription, I think it was minus 0.75 and minus one and no contacts, only glasses. So that was before I found you. And then I told him about this. Uh, I think you should not use your glasses while you are on your phone or on your computer. Please take them off. And also remember in, in classroom, only put your glasses on when you need it. And I told him to to try to to watch at the distance and try to blink. And I told him about active focus. He's not that dedicated. He's soon to be 18 and he knows what's right. And mother doesn't even always know things. And he's kind of laughing at me sometimes. <laughs> so it's a little bit of he knows best. But he has done something and it's, it's logical that if you see too much close up, then you will uh, need glasses. So he understands that. But he told me after a while uh, that I, I feel I can I can see well now. So he started he stopped using them. In the beginning, he used his glasses all the time, but then he stopped using them, and then he all um, he only used them when he needed to. I'm super happy. I want more parents to hear this, right? Mm. I feel like I'm not the person to say it because you are, right? I have three kids, one mm. perfect vision, correlating to less reading, more hobbies with distance vision, and two kids that were told they needed glasses and they don't or not really. And I think that's important for parents to hear from a fellow parent. This and lots of other full short-sighted podcast episodes available in the Back to 2020 member section, along with hundreds of pro topic videos I made over the years, access to a 90,000 plus monthly visits member forum, and tons of other resources to help you on your journey to get back to 2020. Meow, 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 meow. Meow.